welcome back to my channel all right so now that i got your attention i'm gonna give you guys an in-depth video of how i do my baby hairs so i'm going to fast forward all right so i'm just starting off by letting you guys know that this toothbrush is not for my teeth but strictly for my edges <laughs> okay or you can use something like this either or all right so now i'm just starting off by this little method you have to pull and then swoop so i'll pull out a little bit of hair that i have and then swoop depending on how big you want your edges i just pull out a little hair because i don't want it so big and dramatic so i do little sections i'm only going to be using a little dab for every time i swoop but make sure you don't pack too much because then it's going to look cakey and when it dries, you just have a mess. So a little bit goes a long way, as you can see. Pull and swoop. Yeah, all jokes aside, literally same method throughout the whole video. Pull and swoop. So just keep swooping and pulling. Actually, no, let me say pull and swoop. That's actually really important. Don't swoop and pull. You have to pull down and swoop. Like, use your finger to swoop. <laughs> it has to be almost perfect because nothing's perfect. So, you know, it's got to look right. Take your time. Once I have it to how I want it to look and I'm comfortable, I'll just go ahead and smooth my sideburns because you don't want those looking messy. So everything is neat and sleek. Yes, lay them. Lay them edges, girl. So now I'm going to start the same thing, but on this side. So just watch. S pull and swoop. I almost said swoop and pull. Pull and swoop. And now I do know we all have different hairlines. So me right here, I always have to pull out more hair because it's... There's not as much hair right there. I don't know why. It's, it's the way I swooped it. Like, if I was to do my baby hairs in different design, it'd be okay. But sometimes it looks like there's not enough hair right there. So I'm always pulling and pulling and swooping. So I'm going to be doing that for a while. But once it's good, it's good. And then you can move on to the next row and the next. Don't forget to wipe up any excess gel. Oh yeah, right here. Please don't look at my nails. It'll be our secret. I forgot to paint them. So remember, focus, pull, swoop, don't focus on my nails. Okay, so it's still kind of bothering me right here, so I'm going to go back and fix it. So once you've started the second row, it's okay to always go back and fix it, because then you can go in and then it's easier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close-up on the pull and swoop method. So I'll stop talking now. <laughs> you guys can go ahead and follow through and I'll catch you towards the end of the video. Okay, so this little edge brush comb thingy-majigger, it really helps define the lines. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, so now that I got the eyelash out of my eyeball, <laughs> I'm still pulling some hair out, and then I'm just gonna come in with the method again. So I'm going to pull and swoop. Yay! So this is the end. I'm just thinking if I should add another swoop. Well, another layer. But it's looking good to me. I'm gonna keep it at three on each side. And we're finished. We are not finished. I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but I'm just gonna go back in and touch it up and perfect all right so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom through this it's still that it's still gonna be the same method pull and swoop okay so this is what we've all been waiting for the final result yes 
okay so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and let me know in the comments down below you guys are awesome and i'm gonna have more videos coming so stay tuned and i'll catch y'all in the next video bye